Today we are going to automate mouse events using Pi input package. And recently I have been noticing one thing, the likes are getting increased. We are going to write a couple of lines to control our mouse to go and like our previous video. We can control and monitor the input devices using Pi input library. Without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Welcome to ASA Learning. To automate mouse events, we are going to use Pi input package. To install this package, copy pip install pi input, open your cmd, paste it here and just run it. Pi input package is successfully installed. As we install the package now, we have to import in order to use it. From pi input dot mouse, we are going to import two things. One is button, another one is controller. And I'm going to create an object for controller. I'm going to name it as ASA mouse. Let's use this object and see what all is available. We have click, move, position, press, release and scroll. We are going to see one by one. In order to get the current position of your mouse, you can use the position. Let's keep the mouse here and let's run this cell. And now you got the X and Y position of the mouse. You can see the mouse is at the bottom of the screen. So I'll keep the mouse at the bottom and we'll see and now you can see the x and y varies so every time if you run it gives you the current mouse position so this is a bit useful now we are going to move our mouse to our desired position so let's call asa mouse dot position again and now we are going to assign the values so i am going to assign 200 and 600 let's see where the mouse goes so the mouse is near to this cell here so let's see how where it goes. You can see the mouse moved automatically to our desired position. And do note one thing, you can also move your mouse by pixels. To do that, you can use move function. And the only difference here is this movement happens from your current position of your mouse. Let's see the documentation of this. This takes dx and dy. If you want to move your mouse left from your current position, you need to give negative values for dx. So dx is nothing but the horizontal movement and dy is nothing but the vertical movement from the current position of mouse. So let's say I'm giving minus 100 and 100. So this means from the current position, the mouse should move left 100 pixels and down 100 pixels. So I'll just keep the mouse here and I'll run this cell. So shift enter, you can see the mouse actually moved 100 pixel left and down. If you want to move vertically up, you need to specify negative values for dy. So if I run this, if I place the mouse here, it should actually go left and up. So let's see. So it actually moved diagonally up to the left position here. So based on your pixel values, the mouse movement happens. And then we have the press and release for buttons. So let's use the same object. The press event actually takes the button events. So I'll give button dot right. It means it should perform a right click on this window. And then I will release the right click. So let me run this cell so it should perform a right click now. So when I run this cell, the mouse has right clicked. And there is also another way to perform mouse clicks based on the number of clicks as well. This will be very much useful. The last one that we have is click. Now let me specify it as right click and I'll click it once. So this actually performed a right click now. I'll change it to left. And I will place my mouse here so that it clicks on our next cell. Yeah, you can see the mouse has actually clicked here when I run this cell. And now let us do something interesting. We are going to make our mouse to click at a desired position. And before that, I need to introduce listener here. So Pi input package has listener. This is the most useful one. Let me import it first. So I have run this cell. Let's write a small function for click. To create a function, we use def operator and I will name the function as on click itself. We are going to print x and y values. So for our reference, I'll give it as clicked at. So the coordinates would be x and y. And then comes the button. And the boolean value so now we can use the listener so with listener so when we have clicked 
it actually calls the above function. So we need to refer the above function. So when we perform a click as listener, we will give it a name. So we need to join this. So it prints out all the events in the console here. So when I run this one, you can see the changes being done. So it is actually running now. So let me click somewhere. So I'll click this cell. So you can actually see the X and Y position and what button we have used and the key press and key release values at the last. Wherever I click, I get the X and Y coordinates. If I perform a right click, I should be getting those also. So you can see here, I got the right click values. So let us go to our YouTube channel and we are going to like our previous video. This is actually not me liking my own video. This is the Python script that is liking the video. What we are going to do is we are going to perform a click and we are going to note down the X comma Y position. Let me do a click and you can see we got the X and Y position, but we have not used the listener dot stop here. We should stop the listener, but in the script I haven't specified. So it is still running. So wherever you perform the click, it obviously throws all the values. So I will restart the kernel. We can write an if condition and stop the listener. And the mistake we have made, we haven't stopped the listener. It has been tracking all our mouse events previously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give an if condition here. So if we have performed a click, we are going to print the coordinates and we are going to stop the listener. And now let me run all the cells. You can see the last cell is still running. So unless and until I perform the click function, the script will stop. So I'll just randomly click over here. You can see it has been clicked at this particular position. The script has been stopped now. And again, we will rerun this one and we are going to make our Python script to click on the like button. Let's see how it works. So I'll run this cell to get the coordinates of the like. And we got the X comma Y position here. And to make your mouse to click at a desired position, you know what to do. So we are going to position our mouse at this particular value, which is 565 and 521. Make sure your screen doesn't move. And then we are going to perform a left click. We are going to perform the click. So button is the left click and the number of clicks is one. So let me run this again. Yeah, it has given a like to my previous video. So officially I haven't liked my own videos. And do note that using logging package, we can completely log all our mouse events in a log file. We will be seeing logging module in our future videos in depth. So you can completely log all your mouse events. In this video, I have completely covered all the mouse events using pi input package. From this video onwards, we are going to introduce a new section. We are going to discuss the use cases of the package. So in this video, we have seen pi input. It not only logs the mouse events, it also does log the keyboard events. So for now, it supports both mouse and keyboard. So this package can be actually used in automating the desktop applications where it involves the mouse events to be captured. So if you want the mouse events to be captured completely, you can use this. Or if you want to perform a right click, if you want to get the position of the mouse and when you're automating the pop-up, the windows forms, it can be used anywhere by just importing this package and with a couple of lines and do check out the detailed info in the description below. And yes, note it down. I have not liked the video. The Python script did it. So now it is your turn to hit that like button. Comment below if you have any queries. I'll try to answer all your queries. Keep watching for more interesting videos. Subscribe to ASA Learning and hit that bell icon. See you all in the next video of Explained in Minutes. Thank you and take a power.